だね。It is nearly 11 o'clock at night on Wednesday, um, yeah, I took the day off work today since I had a nearly expiring personal holiday and figured why not, um, since I already have plans to go see the family slash a close friend, um, this week up in Atlanta. Still having to figure out who I will visit this particular time though. Um, so most likely, I will be visiting close friends, and friend, uh, and do that for the day. Um, so perhaps Lisa or Eleanor, though most likely Lisa because she at least worked from home and Eleanor said that she pretty much would only be able to see me during a lunch break. Uh, but we'll see how things go. For now, the only solid plan is a book shopping trip for a video. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, I usually am fairly casual with the whole I only have visits anyway and don't have a whole lot of set plans. I usually just have one particular, like, home base for the day and then kind of work with that and go from there, uh, depending on who's around. So, yeah. This is the first time in a hot minute that I've been, like, more or less homeless for the day, but. Oh, well. Um, I did also just film, uh, the small book tour tag. Um, I just did like a one take video, oh my god. <laughs> um, and posted it and I cannot stop playing with my hair. Help. I straightened it and I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've straightened it since like Halloween. So my brain's like, oh my god. Plus it's all so long. And my brain just doesn't really realize how long sometimes until I straighten it and then it's just like, oh my god. So yeah, I'm honestly kind of shocked because I did chop it to my shoulders only like two years ago. And it's already back to this length. <laughs> Usually I think it takes like three years.
I'm talking with my mom, waiting for her to get my Valentine's card. It hasn't arrived yet. She had a false alarm the other day when she got a card similar to mine, but it ended up being from my sister Nikki and her kids, so. Wasn't mine yet. Hopefully it's not an issue with the mailing and it's just taking a couple extra days to get there. Because it is going all the way from Georgia to New York. Hopefully tomorrow, because I sent it off with the mail Sunday, I mean Saturday, yeah. The mail picked it up on Saturday when they came by. So, should be good by tomorrow. Even though I thought for sure it'd be today. As did my mom. But I also don't know when my sister sent her letter for reference, I should probably ask her, just to, for curiosity's sake, but anyway. Um, so reading updates is probably also a good thing to talk about. Um, I'm still <laughs> reading uh, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue and Hollow City. I've been struggling to listen to Hollow City on audiobook because your girl rediscovered Vampire Diaries a couple days ago and made the mistake of deciding to rewatch it. <laughs> but I am reading Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I should finish within the next day or two, I think, because I am getting pretty close to the end. Um, Like, I'm in love with this book. Like, I was literally reading it this morning, and I had one of those, like, where you kind of space out from the book itself just for a second, because you're just sitting there, and I just literally was just like, this is my, this is a new favorite book. This is, this sort of, like, exciting feeling is what I should get from all the books that I keep, and... Like, just like that, that kind of feeling where you're just like, this is, I love this book and I want to hold on to this book forever and reread it and like, ugh. I need more of books that give me those feels. And also I'm just very curious to see just where the book will kind of end with things because obviously we're getting closer to the end and... Yeah, like, most of, like, the big mystery has been discussed and everything, so now it's just kind of like, so what's going to happen with this information, with what's going on? Like, is something going to come in and try and destroy it? Is it just going to kind of, like, give you this ambiguous ending where it's just kind of like this, and, and then, you know, open-ended? Like, I don't know what's going to happen, and I'm excited to find out. <laughs> it's really good. And I was also thinking earlier about how, like, this book has kind of had, like, super major hype, similar to how, um, Seven Husbands of Evangel and Hugo and, um, Daisy Jones and the Six was, like, really up there for everyone. And I also really liked The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo for, like, the writing aspect of it. But the story itself, I was kind of like, okay, that was really good, but I don't need to reread it. And the only reason, like, when I went and did, like, an unhaul recently, I was sitting there thinking, feeling guilty for, like, potentially unhauling it, but then I also was sitting there like, but do I really love it enough that I want, like, is it a story that I'm so intrigued by and adored enough to go back and reread it? And honestly, I was like, I'm kind of okay with not, even though I really liked it, so. But this one, it's not going anywhere. No, it's mine. People may borrow it, but they ain't gonna take it from me. 
Also, at some point I'm considering getting a copy to send to my mom so she can read it because, yeah. My mom and I watched um, Age of Adeline when it came out. So, and that's of course something that Isaru has given me like similar vibes to initially. So I would kind of love for her to have the chance to read it. I've already given a copy to, well, technically I haven't given it to them yet. I just have it set aside to give to them. But I did set a copy aside for Sasha um, so that they can read it. Because my next to last book of the month box, um, when the one for January... Um, I was supposed to pick between the book of the year finalists, um, to see which one I wanted, and pretty much the only one I was interested in, like, there was actually like two or three of them that I was interested in, but I already had a copy of all the ones that were nominated that I liked, so I since I couldn't decide on one, I asked Sasha if they wanted to pick one out for the month, which I will occasionally do. If there's not one specific that I want to get, I will either skip that month or I will um, go to my little chat of family and close friends that literally is labeled like a book purge. And I pretty much just message them anytime I'm looking to get rid of some of my books or I'll message them individually and be like, hey, do you want to pick a book? And I'll give, send it to you. <laughs> so I've done that a few times where like Eleanor has picked out a couple of book of the month uh, boxes and I just have it mailed to her that month, for example, or if I'm getting an add-on for myself and just didn't have like a base book to order with, I'll send it to myself and then just bring the book to her later, things like that. So. Uh, Sasha ended up picking out Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, so when the book came, I actually ended up switching copies, so I'm going to give them my original one from the October box, and then hold on to the Book of the Year finalist copy, since it actually has the little logo on the back that says Book of the Year finalist. I'm just gonna make it a thing where I'm just like reviewing books during these vlogs. Like, is that just where we're gonna be? We'll see. I'm trying to like keep things fairly spoiler free. Maybe I'll just do like reviews that aren't spoiler free separately. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to set up review videos on here because that's something I'm a little bit less experienced with filming and posting for. Also, something I need to film next is a tag idea, challenge idea that I thought of recently that I thought was very intriguing and I don't think I know of anyone else who's put something else up similarly, but I wanted to call it um, Review Reread on Haul. So basically kind of like the other game where it's like F Mary Kill <laughs> but with books so the challenge would be to pick a book at random from your shelves and you have to either review it read it or reread it if you have already read it before or unhaul it and so that's going to be, I think, the next thing that I film properly. Um, so it'll probably come out, like, end of February, early March, depending on if I keep my current, like, filming schedule. Um, because of the whole smart, small booktuber tag video, I decided, at least for now, I'm going to keep with doing the proper videos on Fridays. And then just, like, if there's, like, a more casual video, just kind of throw that up whenever. I'm excited. Anyway, let's get.
getting late. So I'm probably going to get ready for bed for the night and either read a bit more Addie and or work on my puzzle because I'm really liking the puzzle too. It's got rainbow and books and dragons and butterflies and lights and it's beautiful. Anyways. I think that's basically it for now. I'm going to leave it right here. Good night. Those are not for you, oh boy. Never leave chocolates unattended with a kitten who's already obsessed with food. <laughs> um, so it's Valentine's Day and I just finished with work and wrap things up on the book shopping vlog I kind of filmed a bit of when I was in Atlanta. Luna! Luna! Hey, Luna! Um, so yeah. As I was saying, um, I need to wrap up the did while I was in Atlanta on Friday, but <laughs> things ended up going pretty well. Um, I got to town and uh, dropped off the copy of The Invisible Life of Abby LaRue off to Sasha. Um, just went in, dropped it off on the kitchen counter and left without saying, seeing anyone in person. Um, after that I went over to Second and Charles for like 45 minutes to an hour before I went over to my best friend Beth's house. She finally has a house of her own and apparently moved out of her parents house like a month ago and so that was super exciting. And so I went over and hung out with her during her lunch break a little bit. And yeah. Um, Luna, what are you doing? Here, like her, like licking her lips back here. out and about for the day on Friday. Eish. Um, I did end up finishing the audiobook for Hollow City. Um, so that was exciting to get a book finished. And I'm very, very, very nearly done with Invisible Life of Addie the Real. I keep thinking I'm like about to finish it and then just a little bit more. But I'm definitely reaching the end. I'm like literally in that like Liver of pages left. It's just like, oh no, it's almost done. I'm excited, but I'm also like, no, I'm not ready. 
<laughs> so yeah. And then yesterday I binge watched through the To All The Boys I've Loved Before series on Netflix and excuse me but that was like all the feels and in order to cure my feels I need more and therefore I'm almost definitely going to reread the last book instead of going straight into my next TBR choice. I'm sorry. But I can't help myself. I need to read it again. <laughs> I was originally like really wanting to do a full reread of the full book series but in order to try and keep to my TBR I'm gonna just reread the third one and just give myself a compromise. <laughs> So yeah, um, that'll be my next read, though since I listened to the series on audiobook the first time around, I'm going to read it physically this time.